So treating our business as uh, a business instead of having a hobby mindset that, oh, it'd be nice if something happened, <laughs> um, just like with all our hobbies, uh, you know, and truth, truthfully, you know, even, even with the hobby mindset, like if you actually care about a hobby, um, I, recently I, I just got back into piano playing and I have neglected that hobby for, for years. Um, the piano just kind of sits there. I have an electric piano. And I just said, you know what? No, I'm going to dedicate time to this. It's, it's worth it to me. And so I've scheduled, you know, only half an hour on Sunday mornings to, you know, noodle around on the keyboard. But it's great. It's really great. It's like, oh, yeah, getting back into that feel. And so even hobbies that we care about. Uh, deserve our attention and, and our, but but the difference between a hobby and a profession uh, generally is is that a profession takes a lot more time and energy right, than a hobby. So that is sort of a very practical first uh, question for for all of you who would like to treat your business as a business as a profession. Is well, it's kind of like when you get a you know if you get a job, um, the hours that you work are non-negotiable, generally speaking. I mean, if you work from home, then you, there's more, but even if you work from home, your employer requires that you have certain deliverables, uh, which would require certain hours from you. So that's really the key is if you had a job, you would schedule a certain number of hours that are non-negotiable to you non-negotiable, not just to you, but to your family as well. So this is the key. Yes, of course, if you had a job, you could take sick days, you could take time off, but there's only a limited, limited number of sick days. And if you take time off, you, you, it might become unpaid time off if you take a lot of time off. So the question, same thing for our business is sure, we, we need to take care of our family. We need to take care of ourselves when there's, you know, illness and recovery that's needed. And just like there, it's with the job, a profession, there's non-negotiable number of hours that need to have our focused attention. So question comes back to, you know, you know, I love talking about this, our calendar template. It's like, does our calendar suggest that we're treating our business as a profession? or as a hobby that we're dedicated to, or as a hobby that we're not even dedicated to. <laughs> so, uh, so, so to, to the caretaking, right? So for example, if you have to caretake for family members, um, imagine you had a job, right? You, you imagine you have, a, you have a meeting with a client or with a boss. Do you allow your family members to come into the meeting and go, hey, I know, I know you're meeting, you know, mom or, or daughter or sister or friend, or neighbor. I know you're meeting with a client right now, but I need your help, <laughs> right? You would be like, well, are you out of your mind? I'm meeting with a client right now, right? So are we treating our business, even when we're not meeting with a client, are we treating the time we spend on our business essentially ourselves as the most important client. Mm. So I think just as to wrap it up, I think uh, a practical way for us to, to actually work on this is to look at your calendar structure and to say, hmm, how can we make it so that there is still time to spend with family and caretake for them, but at reasonable hours rather than just allow them to take yeah. take all the hours they want and then what's left is you know just like remember at a job if you if you if there's someone who had to take a 40 hour a week job sure the family may want them around taking care of them 20 hours a week but it's like i'm sorry i, I can't take care of you between whatever nine to five or whatever because i'm i'm literally at work yeah. <laughs> so we have let's find out a different way for you to be taken care of while i'm at work and that's a really good inquiry to have. So uh, let me know if this is helpful.